All right, now I'm doing an RC low pass filter and I'm doing the, what you might call the dead bug configuration, which actually is pretty good. Uh, you just twist things together and connect your probes to what you want to test. You can see the resistor um, on top and the capacitor here, and I'm pulling off the low pass function right from the center. And I, what I've got is something very close to the 3 dB point, where the mean is 3.093 dB, and the phase is minus 44, eight and change. You can see the standard deviation of the phase is 0.3, standard deviation of the gain is 23 millidB. Um, it can be, this is as good as I can find, uh, get it. Because the, it should really be about 3.01 dB, not 3 and 45. But this is pretty good. All right. And you don't have to exactly hit it, but it really does show if your measurement system is working. And yeah, you to get it, you kind of um, bit, you know, one, first I roughed in the frequency at 10 kilohertz, 11 was better, 12 was worse. Then I went back to 11 and did 0.1. I needed, I needed a little higher cutoff and then 0.2. I could keep going and, and find, you know, maybe tweak it to get it exactly. But really, that's, that's good. Um, when the probes weren't calibrated, it could be off by a degree, right? Um, now, to take these measurements, really, each scope's a little bit different, but there should be a measurement, something like quick measure, right? And then these things will come up, which source do you want? And then which function? And there's, you know, the amplitude peak to peak, but really ratio will measure the, the gain between, and I understand that uh, you might not be seeing this very well, but um, I'm just giving you a hint as to where things are. And then there's phase, right? And you would just, sometimes you have to go back and, uh, select the second source, or sometimes it it measures the ratio from two to one or phase two to one. That's okay. You can, it's in the manual, and um, but really, this is quite useful. And then just make sure that if I let's say I'm finding another point, let's let's do uh, a kilohertz, right? I make sure that I get so many. Um, things, but then you've got to go in statistics and to reset it. Otherwise, it'll keep adding in the old data. Um, but this is interesting, is that now it's giving me a phase of five degrees. Oh, that, that might be right. Minus five and a zero dB. I, I'd have to go check, right? Um, About 100 hertz. Okay. Um, and the phase is going towards zero. 